Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss Achilles tendon uh, ruptures. Achilles tendon ruptures are a very frequent uh, injury of the largest tendon in the body, which is called the Achilles tendon. And this can really be observed in almost any age group. It can be related to uh, sport injuries, to uh, big traumas, small traumas, and sometimes to no trauma at all. Even just getting off a chair or going down the stairs, patients may feel this sudden pop at the back of the leg with a lot of pain and then inability to push the foot down. An Achilles tendon rupture is really more of a clinical diagnosis. So the orthopedic surgeon, just by examining you, uh, should be able to determine whether or not the tendon is uh, torn. Uh, an MRI or an ultrasound, in my opinion, are not necessary uh, because again, the diagnosis is really made with the uh, physical examination. What can you do once the Achilles tendon is ruptured? There are two main types of treatments. One is a non-operative treatment and the other one is an operative treatment. The non-operative uh, treatment uh, consists in allowing the patient to uh, start walking immediately uh, on that uh, tendon, uh, depending on the amount of pain uh, that he or she uh, may have. And patients walk in a special type of boot with the insertion of some heel wedges that bring the ankle up. And that makes sh makes sure that the two stumps of the tendon are reapproximated to one another. Over time, uh, thick scar tissue will grow over the two uh, tendon stumps and uh, gain uh, full function of the tendon. It is very, very important that the um, treatment, however, is um, associated with a very specific physical therapy uh, protocol uh, to help that tendon heal the right way. The other treatment is surgical. The mainstream procedure consists of making a 3-4 uh, inch incision over the back of the uh, ankle and then uh, throwing in sutures to repair the tendon. I prefer a more minimally invasive approach uh, consisting of a, a two centimeter incision uh, at the back of the ankle and uh, with a special device um, reconstructing the tendon. I usually allow patients to walk uh, in a special boot with some heel wedges uh, right after surgery and have them start physical therapy uh, at about uh, two weeks after the procedure. Uh, I cannot stress enough the importance of physical therapy, whether you treat the tendon with or without surgery. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that the Achilles tendon, no matter how well you repair it, will always be at an increased risk of re-rupturing over the course of your life. The overall uh, re-rupture rate is about 10% uh, with surgery and about 13-14% without surgery. Um, the highest risk of re-rupture is actually during the first three months from the initial injury, which is very, um, uh, it's very significant, uh, especially when we consider what you can and cannot do during that time. The most important thing to avoid is bringing the ankle up excessively because that could lead to re-rupture of the tendon. The overall return to normality is actually about a year, uh, whether or not you have um, surgery. Uh, return to sports may be uh, quicker if you do have uh, surgery. Uh, lower impact activities can start um, already at about two, three months uh, after the uh, procedure. But most patients will not be able to perform a single heel rise before about a year uh, from the uh, tendon injury, whether this was repaired uh, surgically or treated non-operatively. What are the potential uh, risks of the procedure? There is a uh, small nerve 
called the sural nerve that runs on one side of the Achilles tendon. And when you try to repair this tendon, it is possible that some sutures may um, wrap around that nerve and cause injury. Uh, sometimes the injury is temporary and will resolve on its own. Other times the injury is uh, permanent. There are other situations where um, if the injury appears to be severe enough, uh, the surgeon may have to take you back to the operating room to uh, cut one of the sutures and release uh, that nerve. It's a nerve that only has a sensory function and therefore even in the worst case scenario where you completely uh, transect the nerve, you will have permanent numbness on the outer part of your foot and ankle, uh, but it's not associated with a foot drop or other um, significant uh, functional um, limitations. It's certainly uh, annoying, uh, but you can still walk uh, without a limp. The overall risk of injury of that nerve is about uh, 2%, but again, it, it varies also um, based on the surgeon experience and the type of technique uh, that he or she may uh, use. Um, but after tendon injury, do keep in mind that your mind, your life is not over, uh, but you will not have an ankle which will perfectly match your other ankle. It'll always be uh, typically a little bit more stiff um, or a, a little weaker, uh, but for the vast majority of uh, patients, it will not prevent them from uh, living uh, a very good, active and healthy life.